Let's unbox the art kit. So first we wanna thank you to our sponsors, Edward Jones here in Traverse City. Without their help, this art kit would not be possible. This art kit was inspired by our Plein Air event. So to learn more about Paint Grand Traverse Plein Air Paint Out, go to paintgrandtravers.com or you can scan this QR code to learn about the different events that are happening throughout the weeks. All right, so why did we choose gouache? Gouache is an exciting paint medium because it is a cross between a watercolor and an acrylic. So it will have some transparent qualities of watercolor, but it is more opaque than watercolor. So you're able to layer the colors and create some different transparencies. So reminder, transparency is when you can see through something and something that is opaque, you can't see through it. So it's gonna be across, it's gonna be in the middle of that. All right, so you're gonna have a little brochure and it's gonna just go over the different contents and how to use the contents in this kit. How to mix colors and use the color wheel that we're gonna show you in a few minutes. How to get started. What's in the kit. And we are very fortunate to have Heather in Martin do a YouTube video tutorial. And if you scan this QR code, you'll be able to go directly to that. If you don't have the ability to do that, just email me and I can send you that link. And Heather was uh, thoughtful to send us a business card so you can see a sample of one of her paintings and then more of her information and how you can learn more about Heather. So thank you, Heather. Okay, so we have a six color acrylic gouache set. You have a paint palette for mixing your colors, an assortment of brushes. There's a viewfinder. And as Heather explains in the tutorial, it's really important to use a viewfinder. It's easy to become overwhelmed with what you see and then try to put all of that in a painting. So if you focus on a certain area, it's not so overwhelming and intimidating and it'll help you focus. We've placed the different watercolor papers in this envelope. All right, we'll come to that little piece in a minute. So we have an artist watercolor set and, or excuse me, watercolor wheel. So what we want you to do with this is experiment with making new, mixing new colors. You have a limited palette but that palette isn't limiting. You're gonna be able to make lots of different colors. So once you open up your paint set, you're gonna to wanna to follow this example and you'll paint yellow in this section, blue and red. Those are the primary colors. The secondary colors are when you start mixing these primary colors. So if we mix yellow and blue, you're gonna paint your green here. If you mix yellow and red, you're gonna have orange right here. If you mix blue and red, you're gonna get a violet purple color right here. And then you take it to the tertiary colors. So you're going to take your orange and it's here and you're gonna paint it here. So if you add some yellow to that orange, you're gonna get a yellow orange. And if you add some red to that orange, you're gonna get an orange red. And you're gonna continue going around the wheel to get a variety of different colors. And you can, of course, mix beyond this color wheel. You wanna be careful if you mix too many colors, it will turn a muddy color. But sometimes that muddy color, that muddy color is what you see, and that's okay. I, uh, when I cut paper up, I like to save all my scraps. So um, you can experiment with the transparency. So you can do a really watered down color here a little bit less watered down and full strength. So you can see how you can get the different levels of transparency within one color, or you can use it however you want. I have some cut up some smaller pieces. Here's another one that you can play around with. These would make uh, postcards or smaller paintings. And then I have two eight by 10 pieces for your, um, some of your final paintings. 
So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to attach the painting to this board that was included in your kit. This allows you to take these tools with you. You can pack up this whole kit and as long as you have a water container and some tape, you can do this anywhere. You could be painting at the beach, you could go into the woods, you could sit in your backyard on a chair or at a picnic table. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take a tape. I recommend a painter's tape. It can be the blue or green painter's tape because um, it will remove pretty easily. You can use scotch tape, but there is a possibility that it will stay on your paper. So for this demonstration purpose, I'm gonna use the blue painter's tape. And you're gonna apply this tape all the way around your board. So you're gonna apply the tape on all four sides. That way your piece is gonna be covered, or it's gonna be nice and flat. Yes, you will lose a little bit of your edge of your paper. So I didn't do a very good job applying the tape. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure, you wanna to try to put it on a little bit straighter than what I just demonstrated. If you were to put your eight by 10 painting in a mat, if you have just applied the tape, so only a little bit is taped down, that mat will cover up that tape line. All right, and last but not least, I've included our 2020 Art and Craft Trails. This is, is the guide to art galleries and museums in Northern Michigan. So I recommend you looking at this and getting some inspiration to go see some art in Northern Michigan for more inspiration and ideas. So thank you for uh, purchasing this kit and be sure to follow crookedtree.org for updates on future virtual and in-person demos, workshops, classes, and art kits. We can't wait to help you explore more art.